Hello year two and welcome to today's English lesson. Now can you remember what we learned about yesterday? Yes, that's right, we learned about adverbs of place. Now what was an adverb of place again? Yes, yes that's it, brilliant. An adverb of place tells us where something happens. Now did you manage to fit some adverbs of place into the sentences about the bubble story that you wrote yesterday? Brilliant, well done if you did, that's excellent. Now today we're going to be learning about coordinating conjunctions. Now we've learned about these before when we looked at diary entries for the Great Fire of London. Do you remember? Now there are two types of conjunctions, aren't there? There are coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. But today we're going to be looking at coordinating conjunctions. Now before we start that, can you remember what a conjunction is? Pause the video and have a think. OK, year two, shall we see if you were right? Shall we see if you've remembered? So a conjunction is a joining word and it links two different parts of a sentence or two clauses together. Fantastic. Now at the bottom I have a sentence or a clause. I love strawberries and I want to add a coordinating conjunction to that. Now I'm going to use a conjunction but. OK, that's what the coordinating conjunction that I'm going to use. Now can you think of a clause that we could put after the but? Pause the video and have Think, what sentence would you put after that? OK, what did you think of? Should we see what I thought of? So I thought we could say, I love strawberries, but I don't like cherries. Can you see how one side I'm saying something I love and the other side I'm saying something I don't like? So they're different, they're contrasting. Even though I love strawberries, I don't like cherries. Now, would I be able to say I love strawberries, but I love cherries? No, I wouldn't, would I? Because I love both of them. It doesn't show a difference. It doesn't show a contrast. So no, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. Now, can you remember any more conjunctions? Pause the video and have a think. Can you remember any more coordinating conjunctions? Okay, yeah, two. Should we have a look at those conjunctions? So here are your coordinating conjunctions and remember we can we can remember them by the mnemonic fanboys okay that's how we can remember them now in class we have looked at and but and so and some people even looked at nor and yet okay so those are ones we've looked at already and those are the ones that we're also going to focus on today now can you remember when we use each of these pause the video and have a little think OK, yeah, two. Let's find out. So when do we use so? When did you think? Well, we use so to show a consequence, OK? So the example, he didn't do his work, so he had to stay in at break. So because he didn't do his work, he had to stay in at break. That was his consequence, OK? You could say, it was raining outside, so I took my umbrella to school. OK, because it was raining, the consequence of that was you took your umbrella to school. You could say, I didn't go to, um, I was poorly, so I didn't go to school. Because you were poorly, you didn't go to school. That was the consequence of being poorly, you're not being able to go to school. What about but and yet? Now remember, these two are quite similar, aren't they? You can most of the time use them in the same place. Okay, so in a sentence where you use but, you could also change it to yes. Now, can you remember when you need to use these? Yes, that's right, to show contrast, like on the last page when we said, I love strawberries, but I don't like cherries. Now, this example, I want to go to the beach, but it is raining, OK? So, normally, you go to the beach, but you can't today because it's raining. So, although you want to go to the beach, you can't because it's raining. Would I be able to say, I want to go to the beach, but it is sunny? No, that wouldn't make sense would it you could say it is sunny so i want to go to the beach but you can't say i want to go to the beach but it is sunny because if it's sunny you'd go to the beach wouldn't you so you wouldn't need to use the conjunction but now the last one and and it doesn't show contrast it's for equal sentences so it just adds a bit more information to the original sentence which doesn't show any difference any contrast so here I've got, I went to the supermarket and bought some strawberries. OK, or you could say I went to the park and saw my friends. Now, can you pause the video and have a think? Can you think of one sentence that you could use 
using each conjunction. OK, pause the video and have a think. OK, year two, were you able to think of some sentences with the different conjunctions in? Fantastic. Well done. Now let's look at our last conjunction now, which is nor. Now, for those of you who learned about nor, can you remember when we need to use it? Yes, that's right. It's when we have a negative sentence. Now, what is a negative sentence? Well, for the example, he doesn't like chocolate. That's a negative sentence. Or I don't want to do my homework. That's also a negative sentence. Now, would I love strawberries be a negative sentence? No, it wouldn't, would it? Because you love strawberries. Now, the opposite, I don't love strawberries. That would be a negative sentence because you don't love them. What about I love going to the cinema? Would that be a negative sentence? No, it wouldn't, would it? It'd be a positive sentence because you love it. If you said I don't love going to the cinema, then that would be a negative sentence. Okay. Also, I have two brothers. Would that be a negative or a positive sentence? Yes. Brilliant. It's a positive sentence because you do have two brothers. It would be a negative sentence if you said I don't have two brothers. OK, so here we've got he doesn't like chocolate, nor does he like crisps. So he doesn't like chocolate, but he also doesn't like crisps. Okay? So they are both negative. OK, he doesn't like either of them, which is different from our sentence with but because he liked one but didn't like the other. OK, you could also say. Um, I don't have any brothers, nor do I have any sisters. OK, you don't have either of them. So therefore, both of the sentences are negative. Fantastic. Now, here we've got some sentences and they've got conjunctions, which I've underlined for you. So in the first one, he was very hungry, so he ate all of his dinner. Then we have Alex did his homework, but he forgot to take it to school. I don't know where my gloves are nor do I know where my coat is and the last one I went to the cinema and watched my favorite film now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a think can you explain why I have used these different conjunctions in these sentences why have I used so in the first one and not nor why have I used but in the second one and not and okay so pause the video now and have a think OK, yeah, two. Should we see how he got on? So the first one, he was very hungry, so he ate all of his dinner. So we've used so because it shows us the consequence. Because he was really hungry, he ate all his dinner. So the consequence of being hungry was that he gobbled up all his dinner because he was so hungry. OK, so that's why we've used so there. It shows the consequence that because he was hungry, he ate all his dinner. Now, second one. Alex did his homework, but he forgot to take it to school. Now, if we, we used and here, we could say Alex did his homework and he took it to school. But the fact that he did his homework and then forgot to take it, they are contrasting, aren't they? He's done one thing, but he hasn't done the other. He's done his homework, but he forgot to take it to school. So therefore, we use, need to use but because they're showing differences, aren't they? Although he did his homework, he forgot to take it to school. OK, the third one. I don't know where my gloves are, nor do I know where my coat is. Now, remember, when we use the conjunction nor, they have to both sentences have to be negative, don't they? So he does, doesn't. I don't know where my gloves are, so they have no idea where their gloves are. But they also don't know where their coat is either. So they don't know where either things are. So they are both negative. Now, if I said I don't know where my gloves are, but I know where my coat is. OK, the second sentence there wouldn't be negative because they do know where their coat is. But in this sentence, they don't know where either of these things are. So therefore, you need nor because they're both negative. Now, the last one, I went to the cinema and watched my favourite film. So we've used and here because it just adds a little bit more information. Both sentences are equal. They don't show any differences. It just adds a little bit more information. OK, you could say I went to the cinema, but I forgot my money. OK, that would need but because that's showing the contrast. Although you remember to do one thing that you went to the cinema, 
you forgot to do the other thing. You forgot your money to pay for the cinema. OK, so those are the reasons why we need to use the different conjunctions. So well done if you spotted the, the conjunctions and the reasons for why we need to use them. Now, we're now going to use the conjunctions in some sentences for our story, which we're going to be writing next week. So we've got the picture here, OK? And I've got my first floor, my first sentence. Gabby was walking aimlessly along the beach. And I want to use the conjunction, the coordinating conjunction, and. So we're just going to be adding a little bit more information to the sentence. It's not going to be any contrast, any differences. And because the first sentence is positive, it's not negative. We don't have to have nor because we don't have to have a negative sentence after. We're just going to use and to add a little bit more information. So, can you pause the video and have a think how you would finish this sentence? What clause would you put after the and? OK, what did you think of year two? Should we see what I thought of? So I thought of Gabby was walking aimlessly along the beach, aimlessly. There's one of our adverbs of manner. And along the beach, there's our adverb of place as well. So Gabby was walking aimlessly along the beach and noticed a bottle lying on the sand in front of her. There we go. So I have just added a little bit more information to our original clause, joining the two clauses together with the coordinating conjunction and. Now, your task. What I'd like you to do is you have a worksheet called Year 2 English 14th of January resource and you have got some different pictures. Now, for the first couple of pictures, I've given you the first clause and the conjunction which I'd like you to use. And then all you need to do is write the second clause. But then further down, you have been given the conjunction, but you haven't been given either of the clauses. So you need to use that conjunction and write a sentence with two clauses with a conjunction in the middle about that picture. OK, fantastic. And I think it'd be probably a good idea if you watched the film and remember what's happening and you can write your sentences. OK. Brilliant year two, fantastic. I look forward to seeing your sentences with your conjunctions in. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.